It was once thought that galaxies were island universes unto themselves. They pretty much formed the way we see them today. The idea is that gas clouds collapse and form galaxies into the familiar spiral and elliptical shapes that we see today. But not all galaxies fit into such a neat classification. Some of them are irregular shaped. Others have a shape, but they're peculiar, weird, and astronomers had a hard time fitting those into their cosmic theories. But as our telescopes improved, so did our view. And the static, regal, calm universe suddenly got a lot more violent. Galaxies, it turns out, they don't just sit there. They pass by each other, and if they get too close, they'll eat each other. Galaxies are collections of billions of stars together with countless clouds of gas and dust. We live in the Milky Way galaxy, a collection of about 200 billion stars all cohabitating in a flat disk. Our galaxy is about 100,000 light years across, and the nearest big galaxy, Andromeda, is about 3 million light years away. But not all galaxies are so isolated. Some live in giant clusters, cosmic condominiums filled with thousands or even tens of thousands of galaxies. It's a tough life there, and in such a dense environment, survival of the fittest is the motto. Galaxies collide. Sometimes it's a side swipe with both galaxies moving on, somewhat bruised and battered, but surviving. However, that's not always the case. When two major galaxies collide, their mutual gravity reaches out and they distort each other's shape. Long tendrils of stars and gas and dust reach out to each other. It looks like a lover's embrace, but really, it's a predator reaching out and reeling in its prey. This computer simulation shows what it would look like if you could speed up the action a trillion fold. Incredibly, at first, the two galaxies passed right through each other. Because individual stars are so far apart, the odds of physically colliding with each other are very small. It's like two flies inside a football stadium accidentally hitting each other. When clouds smack into each other, they collapse and form stars. In most galaxy collisions, we see long chains of red glowing gas, and that's a sure sign that millions of stars are being born. something else happens too. A lot of these clouds fall to the galactic center and there's a voracious supermassive black hole just waiting there to gobble it up. The problem is if the gas falls in too quickly the black hole gets indigestion. It erupts violently and it spews out high energy x-rays and gamma rays. Now you might be asking yourself could that happen to us? The answer is yes. The simulation of galactic collisions we saw a moment ago is what's waiting for us down the road when the Milky Way and Andromeda eat each other. Andromeda is at least as big as us, maybe even a hair bigger, and we are headed right for it. It's hard to say what'll happen to the sun and planets when we do. We may get tossed out into the galactic suburbs or we might be dropped right down into the thick of things. Our own supermassive black hole may even fry us when it gets cosmic indigestion. Either way, the view will be spectacular. But don't wait up nights for it, because it's going to be about two billion years before it happens. Until then, we'll just have to be satisfied with our nosebleed seats to Andromeda. But that's probably a safer place to be.